deep thought is really what the Institute is about. It's a window to endless possibilities. But for young people, it can be very dangerous. They have huge expectations. This is their one chance in a lifetime to do something important. We are here as an institution to help scientists who are creative and deep and been struggling to get the job done that it is their destiny to do. There is no student body here, just chalk and blackboard and books and scholars. The problem seems to be always there. I'm constantly thinking about it. I forget everything else. I tend to not communicate, not eat, not sleep. The Institute is an extreme place because it's the only place on this planet that is totally, totally about freedom of thought. Nobody who's here is required to do anything they don't want to do themselves. You can go anywhere you want to go. That's in some sense very frightening. Because where do I go if I can go anywhere? Sometimes you need to switch off your mind to clear it up. There's some patterns of intellectual behavior that you need to have in order to arrive at scientific truth. You have to be brutally, brutally honest. Try to prove yourself wrong as quickly as possible. I know people will judge me. Today my worldview includes the existence of multiple minds. Am I good enough? 